So that will create an image icon in the zero slot, which refers to this particular image. So now I get to do that for the other ones. Two, so that'll be the two, three, four, five, six different icons. Though their indices are one, two, three, four, five. And I've just spelled out the words on all my icons. So it's two, three, four, five, and six. Don't forget to make sure you're spelling correctly. And it capitals and lowercase do matter. Okay, so now I've got all these icons. Now I should probably set up the actual buttons that are going to have these. A grid layout. Set layout to be a new grid layout, a little like the tic-tac-toe board. And I need, let's see, maybe I'll have three across and two down. And I believe grid layout does rows then columns. So we want two rows and three columns. It'll need an import. Import grid layout, java.awt up here. And now I should go about actually creating all the dice buttons and actually putting them in. So that sounds like a for loop. Equals zero. A is less than dice buttons dot length. Because I'm going to fill up that array. A plus plus. So I should make a new dice button. So you're going to be a new J button. And then I'm going to set its icon. So it's going to set one of these things to be its image. So dice buttons A dot set icon to be uh, for now, I'll just do each one, one at a time individually. So the zero button will have the one, then the two, and the three. It's convenient that I happen to have six things. I could set them all to just be ones initially, but that's all right. And then once I have those things, I should add them to the frame. Oh, and that reminds me, I need my frame set up, so let's do those things real quick. Set default close operation to jframe dot exit on close just to make sure it actually closes when I hit the little X button at the top. Set visible to true. All right, so I've set the size on these two things. That's a good thing to do on all these. Should probably set the layout. Set layout. You're going to be a new border layout. which of course I will need to import. Border layout up there. And now I need to add each of these things. I haven't done that yet. Dice, but container dot add. Dice buttons say. And then we'll add the dice container to the frame. Dice container. We'll add you in the center. Border layout dot center. Ooh, code writing. Let's see if that works. There we go. Kind of big icons, but all right. If yours are too big, it'll fill up beyond the edge of the screen. So you may have to go in and actually change the image size itself to make it smaller. Because if you put a 1024 by 1024 in one of these, you will see like a little corner of your image. All right, and then I mentioned these roll buttons. I should probably add those in. So I'll put those in the button container. This is going to be another grid layout, I think. And you're going to be one row with three buttons in it. I'm going to add the roll button.
I'm going to add the score button. And I'm going to add the stop button. And then I should make sure I add that into the north of this, I think. Okay, now we've got those three. And finally, the labels. So the label container, I'm going to set you to also have a grid layout, except I think I'm going to do these top to bottom. Text tends to be, like to be laid out that way. Did I forget to make a label container? I sure did. is a new container. All right. Now it's all happy. Label container dot add. Let's see, there was the current score label. That's the current round. There was the total score label. And there was the current round label. And I still need to add it into my frame or I won't see it. And you can go in the south. Okay. Huzzah, we have an interface.